Hello everyone and welcome to another SOLIDWORKS Tech Tip from Hawkridge Systems. This is Jacob Ames, Applications Engineer, and today we'll be solving the problem of the invisible circle, otherwise known as the speed pack graphic circle. For more information on speed pack and why we're seeing this circle in the first place, make sure to check the link in the description and then stick around to the end of this video for a more thorough explanation. I've loaded up an engine assembly with several hundred components, only to find the invisible circle widening out my display as I hover over the model. To prevent this, and force all geometry to be visible, the speed pack graphics circle can be disabled by accessing Options, then Display, and unchecking the box labeled Display Speed Pack Graphics Circle. Sometimes, however, you may find that this option is unavailable, and while there may be several different reasons for this, the easiest workaround is to simply use the default keyboard shortcut, which is Alt plus the S key, to toggle this option directly from the graphics area. No more need to dig through system options to turn the graphics circle on or off. And that's all there is to it. Now keep in mind, even though all the model geometry is now visible, anything that was previously hidden is going to remain unselectable, and you still won't be able to do anything other than view it. So why did this happen in the first place? The invisible circle is a sign that speed pack configurations are in use, and these configurations are a great way to improve performance when working with large assemblies in SOLIDWORKS, in addition to being very easy to create. To learn how to create speed packs, make sure to check out the tutorial linked in the description. In this case, I've loaded our assembly with large assembly mode enabled, which has activated a speed pack configuration that applies to the entire top level assembly. This is why nothing is visible within the graphics circle when I hover over the model. In many cases, however, speed pack is applied only to specific sub-assemblies. If I reload this assembly without enabling large assembly mode, you can see that only one sub-assembly disappears within the graphics circle, as it's the only sub-assembly currently leveraging a speed pack configuration. This sub-assembly is also marked in the feature manager design tree with a special icon that also happens to look rather speedy. The speed pack configuration can be enabled or disabled at any time by right-clicking the sub-assembly in the Feature Manager Design Tree, accessing Speed Pack Options, and selecting either Use Speed Pack or Set Speed Pack to Parent, respectively. Any geometry that remains visible within the graphics circle is selectable and can be used in traditional modeling operations. With that, we hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, leave us a like and consider subscribing for more SOLIDWORKS Tech Tips. Also be sure to check out our hundreds of other SOLIDWORKS videos, and if you have any thoughts or suggestions for using speed pack configurations, feel free to leave us a comment. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.